We are on top of Lava Butte, which back behind me is overlooking um, Bend, Oregon, and then everything past there. This place is beautiful. It is amazing. Everybody, uh, we are at the lava beds just south of Bend. Mm -hmm. We are enjoying some lunch right now, and then we are going to get in line to go on the tour. It's about an hour long. Um, we're hoping she lasts <laughs> that long, but um, after that, we're going to look at the lava beds or lava fields. Yeah. Lava land. So, I think the best part about these trips and having the RV with us is these lunches it's like summer just, camp yeah it's like it's like homey feeling mm. sack lunches they said that uh, these caves inside is 40 degrees yes we had to go back to the truck we're wearing like flip-flops shorts tank tops yeah so, so. Uh, I think we're a little bit better prepared now than we were before yeah So we are taking turns hiking up this huge like mountain top. It has a huge lookout. So I'm out of breath, I'm out of shape. But let's check it out guys. absolutely love Bend. It's absolutely beautiful. Bend has our hearts for sure. Alright guys, see you in a bit. So I am at the Bend Airport. Um, today I actually get to do my discovery flight or my initial flight uh, to get my pilot's license and I actually have an opportunity to do it with one of my buddies and I'm pretty excited. So let's go do this. So we are right above Bend, right here, Tumalo Falls, and then it comes all the way down. You can see the river, it's a very beautiful place. You can drive all the way up to the top, stop, and then walk. It's like not even, like maybe 10, 20 feet to get to this spot right here. And to have all of this as your background, like this is a wonderful, wonderful. We're going inside Trader Joe's to get some food. We don't normally shop at, at that kind of place, but it's right off the interstate. 
and anything that's right off the interstate is like perfect for us. Uh, we have the storm right behind us though. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna head straight into rain. Not very excited about that, but our trip's only, it's like an hour and a half, so we don't even have to drive very far, so I'm really excited about that. We are about to go through that. All right, good morning, guys. We are just about 20 minutes north of Crater Lake. Uh, we are at a place called Diamond Lake RV Park, campground, something like that. And we really, really love it here. So the spot that we're at is like, it's the most in nature, I think, place that we've probably ever been other than when we were up in Wyoming. Um, so just to give you an idea, like this is our RV, and then around me, I don't know if you could see from the sun, but it is all pretty much nature, and we think that's pretty cool, because we could take the pup out, and pretty much we could just walk all the way around here, like it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're about 20 minutes north of Crater Lake. This lake is beautiful. Later we're going to hit up the viewing area, hopefully get some good shots up there, um, and then hit the lodge. So there is no cell phone signal out here or internet or anything. So we're out here uh, kind of by ourselves and it's pretty nice. It feels good to be, good to be alone. Um, kind of hard to upload videos, but that's okay. I have no problems with that. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see we just stopped to have an amazing lunch that court made we got all kinds of good stuff anyway so a big piece of advice that we received was to go around Crater Lake in a counterclockwise motion so that when we wanted to hit a viewpoint it would be on the same side that we were on the road however I would say the biggest piece of advice would be to drive oh it's clockwise to drive clockwise because of the huge cliffs that are coming off the road they do not have guardrails or anything like let me show you a little bit of what's going on and that's coming straight off the the road and then another one over this way. I mean, this is just one example of the road coming down here. And then you have all of that, like, not very safe. If you want to be safe by any means, uh, do a, a clockwise circle. That way you're on the inside of the road and then you won't have to worry uh, about driving off the cliff. Hey guys, we just got back from our day exploring Crater Lake. Yeah. And let me tell you, it is beautiful. We did the whole 33 mile loop so we drove it and we stopped pretty much at every stop yeah. um, to check everything out but um, we weren't able to really hike anywhere today but we definitely plan in the future to um, pick a trail or two to like go at least down to the water because apparently you can swim in there so we didn't know that we thought yeah. that was pretty cool but overall it was beautiful highly recommend if you've ever been or if you have not been there yet I highly recommend it so we're starting to see a trend in our travels where we do not book or plan to stay at one place mm -hmm. long enough. Like every place that we've gone to, we've wanted to stay longer and see everything. And I think mm -hmm. that's something that's that's normal or that, that happens to everybody. And I think we have to get to the point where it's like, okay, it's okay if we don't see everything because we can come back and then do other things later. Exactly, it's definitely an area that we're gonna want to explore a lot more of. Um, maybe move to? We really like this area. <laughs> All about settling down here, 
maybe, yeah. possibly. <laughs> it's still pretty far away from Colorado, but it's closer than, I guess we were in Washington. Yeah, it's about 10 hours closer, so it would be about 15 hour drive. Yeah. Which still is quite a bit, but the fact pretty that nice. like we are less than two hours, I think, what, an hour and a half away from Bend, like the city, is insane. Like this is like a weekend trip for most people. So yeah. that's kind of like what we want to eventually have in a place that we're living so it's true um i still feel like originally we were only gonna stay here a dip like one night and i told <laughs> yeah. him i was like we gotta make some like adjustments because this is like the one thing on our entire trip besides maybe one other thing that we hopefully will do in the future that like we wanted to do today, today was a long day so going around yeah. around that that crater mm -hmm. area you're up and down in elevation quite a bit yeah it fluctuates um every like couple miles it can fluctuate up to a thousand feet yeah. so you're like it's pretty luckily crazy. luckily finley did amazing that's she true. slept through most of it so i don't think she had really any issues all right guys that's it for this video follow us because we have plenty more adventures to come we will see you later. Bye. Bye.